I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit terrified to film this video. In today's video, I'm going to be styling, or attempting to style, I should say, the worst clothes from Shein. So, I actually already did this in this video with Zara. I had my best friend Nikki order me what she thought was the worst clothes from Zara. And you guys loved it so much that I wanted to make it a series and I'm going to be styling the worst clothes from Shein. Now with Zara, I was very confident. I felt like how bad could it really be? Turns out, spoiler alert, it was pretty bad. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm proud of how I pulled those outfits together and some of those pieces like I genuinely love and wear. But with Shein, like just a quick peek on their website, you would see that it's bizarre. The goal of this video really is to have a little fun because I genuinely am curious about these clothes, but also to see if I can style them. I'm not going to this video extremely confident. However, I am super excited, so I think we should just jump right into the video and let's see some of the weirdest, worst, ugliest things from Shein. Okay, so this is a box that showed up at my door and there's also some home decor stuff in here, so that will be in another video if you wanna see me testing out home decor stuff from Shein. Right off the bat, I'm just overwhelmed by the amount of color and patterns that are in this box. If you just take a little peeksie in here, it is like the antithesis of my entire closet. You can see I love neutrals, I love browns. These sparkles on my shirt are normally as adventurous as I will get, but in here I see a lot of patterns and the first thing I see are these right here. Wow. Whoa. All right, few things. Green right now is the color of the season. And joke's on Nikki because I actually just bought a shirt in this exact color and I can envision this outfit already in my head. Is it my typical style of outfit that I would wear? No, but this I can already see outfits coming together in my head and I'm actually super exci excited to style these. Another thing I have to say is the quality feels pretty good. They don't feel bad, they don't have a smell, which sometimes uh, they do, and they are a nice wide leg. And I can see myself styling this. Do I see myself wearing this to dinner? Probably not, but I can see myself making a cute outfit. So we're starting off strong. Okay, so this is the first way I'm styling the pants. I just wanna say I'm very thankful for videos like this because I get to test out styles and just like things I never would normally pick for myself thanks to Nikki. I actually really like this. I still don't know if I'm more like confident enough and comfortable enough to wear them out in public but I like them. So this is the first way I styled them. I'm gonna show you guys two ways. Definitely, definitely flashy, okay? You would notice me on the street. So I paired it with this um, like cropped white tank top from Princess Polly. I threw them on with a pair of platform Air Force Ones for a more casual look, and then I threw it on with a green bag. This is um, my new favorite bag, it's under $100, and they have it in so many different colors. I will leave it linked down below, it's the best. And that just goes to show you the importance of the fit of a pair of pants. If they were super loose and baggy and didn't fit well, they wouldn't be as cute. So this is the first way, what do you guys think? Okay, so here I really played up the green tones. I have a shirt somehow, miraculously, in my closet. I had a shirt that is the exact color green as the pants. So I threw it on. This one is from Princess Polly. And then for my shoes, I threw on some black heels because I love green and black paired together. And then I just threw on this little Charles and Keith bag. The next thing I see, whoa. <laughs> Okay, something about me is that graphic t-shirts, I hate them. And I know a lot of people love them, but I genuinely just think they're the worst. So, what does this one say? If my mouth doesn't say it, my face definitely will. You know what? That's not wrong. So this isn't the worst. But also, for me personally, it's not the best. So as I said, I'm not a graphic tee person, but if I was going to wear one, I would pair it with some black jeans or these black leather pants, a cute pair of heels, and this t-shirt like tied in a knot in the front. Oh, it's a sarong? Is it a sarong? No, I was so wrong. <laughs> oh, I hate myself sometimes. Okay, it's a dress. It's a very sheer, dress that has butterflies on it. 
this pattern is really throwing me for a loop. I don't, I, I hate it. I think over a bikini with like a cute pair of sandals, it could be okay. We'll try to figure something out. Okay, so I put it on like this, but I think it needs to go the other way. Like, this just doesn't look correct. Okay, let me flip it around and we'll see if it looks better. Okay, so I think it's definitely meant to go this way because the other way just didn't make any sense. But is this supposed to be like a dress or is this supposed to be like a bathing suit cover? I have no idea. I feel like it could be cute. Okay, this style might have potential like as a bathing suit cover. If it wasn't in this heinous pattern, like what is this? And then also if the material was a little bit thicker and I feel like if this part was just like a little bit thicker more, it could be cute. Like if it was an all black or like a really pretty blush color, it could be cute. This is the back. Definitely a bikini cover. I mean, no one's walking down the street in this. I look ridiculous. Wow. 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 Okay, so this dress, oh, it's not a dress, actually. It is a romper. It's a jumpsuit. It has legs. I don't mind the colors in this so much. Even this part of it, which has this like ombre brown, maybe like it looks a little dirty. I don't, I don't mind that so much. What I don't love though is the, the geometric shapes. I think it might be a little bit different if the colors weren't didn't look so desaturated. They just look very blah. I see this and it reminds me of a parachute. If this wasn't in the most vile pattern I've ever seen, it would be really cute and I would actually wear it. Like if this was in black or nude. So I would start by taking a belt. The only belt I have here is this one. So it's not a great example. I'm actually just making this whole situation worse. The only other belt I have is a sparkly one, which I think goes a little bit better. I really am not doing well in the belt department. You know what, it looks like it kind of goes with this. If this was like in a different color, a solid color, even if it was in any of these colors, but a solid thing, um, I think it would look really cute because I actually really love how it fits. So this is how it fits. I think it's a really cute fit. It's so comfortable. Like if this was in a different color, this would be an extremely cute outfit. Oh, sweatpants. Sweatpants. Ooh, ooh, okay. Time is money. Certainly not wrong. These colors definitely pose some sort of obstacle for me. And I don't know how I'm gonna tackle it. Nothing about these pants are good, except I do like this feature on the bottom where you can kind of like make them like cinched in or like a wider leg. I do like that feature, but it's just the shades of the color, the blue, the yellow, maybe if they were like all yellow or all blue, it's just, I, I can't get into this. And then also on top of it, we have that beautiful saying of time is money. Not bad. Okay, this is actually, this actually looks cute. If I could ever figure out what it is. I can, is this a bathing suit? It has this, um, it's a little top and it's just a little bit more revealing than I might have chosen for myself. But I think it could be cute. This doesn't seem that hard. Okay, so I'm not sure if this top was supposed to be like over here, but it was a little too revealing. So I crossed it on my neck. This is what the back looks like. And then I threw on some leather pants. I have to say though, like it's kind of a cute top. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like I'm secure. It doesn't feel like my boobs gonna fall out. And it's kind of a cute top, like I kind of like it. I just feel like it's flattering. I feel like this even shows like less than what some of the other tops that I wear that like come lower. Oh, this actually doesn't look terrible. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, this is actually not that bad. It's not that bad. So it's just the color that's throwing me off. But I think in the springtime, this could actually be really cute with a little pair of white booties. Um, you get like this little top and you get a matching little tennis skirt, which is so in right now. So this I'm actually excited to style because I think even if you put like a cream cardigan on top, could be really cute, a cute pair of white booties. I'm excited about that one. Okay, can we just talk about how cute this little set is? Like, yes, I definitely need to like 
steam these and if I made the pleats more defined it would look way more expensive if this isn't like the perfect little spring outfit I don't know what is I didn't love the color but now that I see it on I really am loving the color it is definitely the perfect set for the springtime like Easter I already have my outfit planned I need to look no further it doesn't feel or look cheap so I paired it with a little white bag and some little white booties from Zara okay let's see here we have some tie-dye which brings me back to the start of the pandemic uh, a time in my life I never ah! mm. Mm. huh okay so I thought the challenge was the tie-dye Turns out the challenge is the Hello Kitty graphic. Okay, so I threw a little pink sweater on top to try to cover the Hello Kitty. I just don't love graphics on t-shirts and I'm not a Hello Kitty girl. I'm not someone who loves like Disney things. Like it's not my vibe, but, but I can appreciate it for people who do like that. Okay, so New Year's Eve is coming up. I can see that Nikki might be trying to help me figure out what I want to wear. This doesn't look that bad, and actually, it's kind of pretty. The issue I'm having with this dress are these tentacles that are on the top. They're just so ugly, and I can already tell I will be cutting them off. All right, so this is the dress. It comes to, like, it's long. It's longer than I thought. But these gotta go. These things, they've got to go, and then we'll try to see. Oh no, they go all the way around. Okay, we're cutting them off. Oh, I'm gonna have sequins everywhere. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay, so it's not perfect, but how much better does that look now, right, without it? So next we, oh, can you see my nipple? No. The length I'm not loving, okay? So we're just gonna tuck it for now. Length, much better. I have two blazer options, this pink one and a white one. This looks heinous. This looks horrible. Wait, I know how we can fix this. There, look how good it looks. <laughs> oh. I don't know if there's any saving this one. Definitely cutting off the tentacles helped. I feel like it's giving me lab coat vibes. I'm sorry, it just looks cheap. I don't think there's anything I can do to save this dress. It just looks cheap. I was gonna cover with a blazer, but I feel like it just looks best left alone. I hate sequins with a passion and I don't know why Nikki always insists on buying me things with sequins. Okay, brown. We love brown. Is this inside out? Ooh. I think there's a mistake here. I think they put the tag on the outside because I just don't see how this looks correct, but it's like a little brown bodysuit. Honestly, kind of cute, but why is the bottom half so long like what is going on here the proportions are a little bit off there but i like the color of it uh, so i put this on on top of my clothes so you can see you could just see the fit was this designed for a barbie doll like i don't know but there is no world where i would ever wear this out and i'm wearing it inside out because the other side is even weirder so uh, no this is going to be a pass from me oh Oh, okay. So this actually can be cute. I would have preferred it in maybe a more subdued color because it already is latex. So maybe like a black or a beige or even a white, but neon orange works too. 14 year old Tony would be living for this. 24 year, it smells like fish. It smells, uh-uh, uh-uh, smells like fish. I think with a pair of jeans, maybe a cute pair of white heels, it could work okay so even though orange isn't my absolute favorite color and i don't love um orange latex specifically i have to say it fits decently well it is flattering on your boobs the only thing it does have a slight smell but i paired it with this pair of jeans and then i threw a white blazer on top just to make it a little just to make it look a little bit more like 
sophisticated. You know, I love pairing really flashy tops with a more subdued blazer. Here we have a pair of jeans. We have a pair of overalls. Overalls I wore all the time as a child and they aren't the worst thing in the world. One of my best friends, bestest friends in the whole world loves overalls. So I might have to call her and ask her how to style overalls because I haven't worn them since I was probably six years old. I don't love overalls, but overall, they're fine. See, the issue here is that I'm just not sure how all the cool kids are wearing their overalls nowadays. I don't know if they're like strapping both of these things or letting one hang loose, but I paired it with a fuzzy white sweater just cause it's, you know, the holidays. And then, um, they're not terrible, okay? They're not the worst things I've ever seen. Okay, so here we have some leggings. Oh, oh, oh. We love a sparkly gold. Oh, stuck together. It has a jersey. Queen number one. Is that a one or a ten? A one. I'm not trying to shade my mom in any way, but this is something she would wear. <laughs> okay, so the, the the quality isn't terrible, besides the fact that this is glued together, like I, it's stuck. So the leggings are comfortable though, and they like go to a good length, they fit nice. If they didn't have queen, I'd probably keep them, but I don't know not good not great and now we have a pair of shoes we have we have a Christian Louboutin dupe Wow thanks Nikki I can't wait to wear these this platform I'm all for a good platform I love me a platform this it's like walking on stilts how does Let's see how much taller I get by putting this on. I would definitely break my ankle wearing these. Oh my gosh. No, these are dangerous. These are these should be illegal. They're like a hazard to your safety. Okay, so that is it for me trying to style the weirdest, ugliest clothes from Shein. That was definitely a lot more challenging than styling clothes from Zara. It just, there was a lot of pieces that I could not salvage and that I don't think anyone should ever buy and I don't think should have ever been created in the first place. But that's besides the point. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do another one. These are some of my favorite videos to film. I have such a good time doing them. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. I love you guys with my whole heart and I'll see you guys back here next time.